hey guys welcome back um so guys in previous video we ha um, done that how to insert the image into the database using laravel okay so in this video we are going to fetch those images from the database okay or ever wherever you have stored from there we will fetch th fetch the image and display it okay so in previous video we have inserted the image right so these are the images we have inserted so if you don't know if you're watching this um if you're not done with this image insertion okay so you c the link is given in the description so you can find over there that how to insert the image into the database so guys let's get started with it um with the coding part to fetch the image and display it okay so first uh, first thing we'll go to resource and views so inside that i'm going to create one simple form so employee i'll create one employee employee form dot blade dot php so this is my form where i'm going to view the output okay so in previous video i have done with that um this html contents okay so uh, let me do it once again so html5 so i'm going to copy that bootstrap link so let's paste over here and it's done so this is my bootstrap link okay so it's nothing but just a 4.1 bootstrap link that is and now i'm going to create one table okay so first thing i'll design one container first container and inside jumbo jumbo tron so let's do with that jumbo tron and now we will design the table okay so i have opened that bootstrap file contains slash tables okay so i'll take this design so let's co let's copy this um yep yeah, let me paste it okay so i will tell you now let me so guys um this is the table now okay so now let me edit this so first will be id and then name okay so my contents are these are if you're watching from previous video you will understand it clearly so i'm doing with this id name email post and image to be displayed okay so five contents i have now so i'm going to put that five contents that is email and next one is post okay and the final one where i'm going to use that image okay so i'm going to type that image right let me save it and now we will do the coding to retrieve those images where into this table row okay so first i will show this output of uh, this so i will give this one more thing table striped table bordered okay so let's view the output um it will not view because we have not given any route okay so we did not get any route route for that so let me give a route so to view this page we have to go to a controller okay so inside app folder http controller we have created in the previous video employee controller okay so at employee controller i will create one function to call my this employee form dot blade dot php okay so let's create one public function so public function um function um where i'm calling the form so i'll give display so display where with the so we will do with the variable thing okay because we have to create a uh, do a variable over there so dollar employees employees i'll give okay so let's create employees is equal to where my employee model okay colon is to all i will call the functions okay so this is my employee model okay so this my employee model where i'm going to use at the top this is my employee model inside app folder employee model i have i'll show you so 
so inside app folder i have employee so in this what it is using where we are using this employee model right so this employee is using my table name and the contents to be displayed okay so let's get back to the controller and uh, do with the coding so let's uh, return and view so what we are going to view is that our inside resource folder views folder we are going to view the employee form okay so let's view that mm, employee form okay employee form with the variable what are the variables you have created this dollar variable right so let's copy this and call the variable and let me call this once in employees okay so this is the method we write and uh, to call this function you have to set a route okay so let's go to routes web.php so let's create one route r o u t e route where i am going to get it okay so get the data from one url okay so let's create one url called um employee page okay so i'll call it employee page and in which controller we have created the function so inside app http controller employee controller we created that page so let's click on employee controller at where employee controller at where we have created called display okay so let's copy this go to your routes and paste that done okay so add this by this it will be called so let's go and view the output okay so let's go back reload the page and put the url called employee page okay so employee page this is your table now okay so you have got the table but it's not um let me give one heading for this so let's give one heading called h1 that is image crud in laravel okay so image crud in laravel we'll give that's it and let's view the okay fine so this is enough now so we want to view the data into this and with the image thing okay so let's get started with that coding part now so here you have to use one for each loop as simple okay so let's start with the coding part at for each okay so let's clear that for each loop mm yes okay so this will be below the tr okay so done and now let's call those values inside this okay so let's just do it first thing is that you have to change the variable okay so let's change the variable what variable you have created inside app http controller your employee controller you have created a called variable called employees so copy this and go to your blade file where you are going to view and just paste that okay paste and create your uh, whatever the name you can give so employee i'll give i'm going to copy this copy this employee and call by its id okay so id and next content will be name so let me copy this and paste upon this that is name and next will be that is email and final not final that is post and now one final that is image okay so if we call th like this we will get only the content okay so before this i will show you the output okay 
so let me reload it so you are getting okay employee one employee develop developer he is a designer okay but you are getting the value not the image okay so let's get that image so for that um let's shall i mention now i will mention now so we have to do like img okay so now and to with this so if you have seen the code in previous video we have we are storing it somewhere right so i will show you the controller in previous video we have stored at some folder okay so upload and employee by its id we are storing that image into the database so by that id only i am going to call okay so let's give assets that is your folder okay so i am going to call that so assets means inside public right so let's go to public and call the uploads folder inside that employee folder so i am going to call that upload uploads slash employee okay employee with the id id okay so let's call that by id so i'm going to call this now over here so employee image okay let's save this and i will give one alternative name so that is image and let's see the output now how it is so we'll reload the page and it is telling undefined function called assets so let me check out with that okay not assets it is asset okay so now let's view that and reload the page so you are getting the image but you are not getting the correct image over here okay so let's me check this once again mm. so where is that error let me display image is not visible so let's um check with this okay so we forgot about this slash so let's do that and call that by name and let me reload the page so yes the image is coming but it's too big okay so let's make that small so let me give width let me close this and width width is equal to so that is 100 pixel okay 100 pixel height 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 i'm going to give height also uh, i know that mm, we should not give that height and width both same okay but i'm giving this either we have to give width or height or one thing should be auto okay but in this case i'm using in the table format so i'm going to view that same thing so guys we have got the image right so yes um now let me insert one image and show you that how to um do with that so i'll give one url okay so i have already shown with this employee so this is my employee url okay to add the image okay so let me create one link over here so a simple thing so at the top i am going to create one button okay so button mm, not button i am going to create one a link okay a simple link which the link i'm going to give is that employee which i have created in the previous video for it so add image okay so let me give a class for this class btn btn 
primary save and let's view the output okay fine so let's add an image I've clicked on add so let me um, insert the image called named yes I'll give employee 3 it's email employee at example dot com post is some um, PHP okay and let's choose one image and see the output so let's open that save the data and it is saved okay so let's get back to that page main page so my main page is called employee page okay so this URL I have given so guys you are getting this data which we have given just now employee 3 at PHP okay so okay guys so we have done that how to fetch the image and display on the table content so guys that's it in this video and in next video we will be doing how to update these images okay so we will be doing that how to update this image create a edit button and update it so i will show you now um not now i mean in, in in next video you'll find it so guys if you want to know how to insert this image using it's given in the description link okay so it's given in the description so guys um thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel like the video share the video and thank you once again